go though, three stages in and Payne starting to look like he's going to feel the effects here. And the next entrant, this is going to be interesting, Bob. The next entrant in the gauntlet is Payne's partner, his right hand man, the living nightmare that we know is panic. What is going to happen here? It's a good question, Joe. I'm really not expecting much. I almost believe the Panic is just going to kneel before Pain and let him have this one free. And you could be right. And this could be a moment for Pain to start to, uh, you know, get his wits about him. A uh, little fun fact, like I mentioned earlier, Panic has competed in two different gauntlet matches, uh, 2007 and 2010. Fun fact. The man that eliminated him in both of those years is the man standing in the middle of the ring with that world heavyweight title, Pain. But I can I, I can see your point with the way that things have been going. Just like at New Beginnings, he kneels before Pain and actually may just uh, let this one slide. We're gonna see uh, right now what's going to happen. Yes, they are gonna stand face to face. And I'm curious how this is actually gonna play out. And Panic looked like he's going to take position. And yes, these and Panic standing behind Pain. Pain looking for the next opponent. And they're going to have to worry about both of these men. That's going to be a tall task. And I'm just, oh my God! Wow, Joe. He did it. Backstabbing Pain. What, what right did there. I just witness? Are we about to see a match between these two after all? What a oh. headbutt! My God! I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. And tossed like a rag doll across the ring. Panic has stabbed Pain in the back. And Pain, you can tell, was not not prepared for that whatsoever. He is staggered. He, yeah, that is not Pain. Oh and my And after that God. previous match with Brian Myers, I don't think he was prepared and ready to deal with Panic like this. Who's just tossing around. And there he goes, falling out of the ring and foot caught on that bottom rope. Payne got hung up on the bottom rope and ripped the back of his leg across the ring apron. Oh my God, did, I wonder, I mean, could, that could have been easily an injury right there. That'll definitely affect Payne in, in the rest of this matchup, or in this stage, plus the rest of the gauntlet. No, you are certainly correct, Joe. This is not going the way Payne probably has anticipated this to happen. Well, I, I, am, I am shocked at what I've just seen. Uh, and, and I did not expect Panic to do what he's doing. Obviously, Pain didn't either. And what a shot! Caving in the skull of Pain with that trash can. What a shot! Bob, I, I am at a loss right now. I am literally speechless, Joe. I I really cannot find words for what I'm witnessing here. I, matter of fact, Panic just walking away. He's going to go ahead and just shot one. Both of those sawhorses into the ring. Uh, clearly, he has vicious intentions when it comes to pain right now. I am very curious what has come across Panic and what is going through his mind to now turn his back and stab pain in his. Well, I mean, let's think about this for a moment, uh, Bob. Over the years, we've tried to, to try to come up with, with some kind of explanation or some reasoning why Panic does the things that he does. And the truth of the matter is, I don't think there is a rhyme or reason. I think Panic just does things. His entire intent is just destruction. And, and I mean, we've seen it over the years time and time again. He just does things. And this may just be another one of those things where there is no explanation. You may be right, Joe. I mean, Panic just... I mean, maybe he doesn't even know what the hell he's doing half the time. I, you know, he, he just does things. That's that's the best I can try to figure when it comes to him so far because everything he does just seems to be utter chaos. I suppose it could potentially be that he wants that world title back. I don't, maybe not, I don't think so. But being that Payne's the man that took it away from him at Apocalypse, you just never know. He might Regardless, not Joe. He, that might be the case here. Maybe he wants that belt back for himself. If he has that desire. Well, regardless of whatever the reasoning is, pain is still down. We still don't see him. Panic has set up this makeshift table in the center of the ring. Vicious intent on, on the mind of the living nightmare. 
panic. He rolls back out of the ring, going back after Payne. And there he is, and he's been split wide open. No wonder it's taken him so long to get to his feet. You, and he, you can see him grabbing that leg there. He's clearly feeling, feeling the injury from that bottom rope and getting hung up there. Oh, that heavy shots by Panic. And there's another. Pain. Pain trying to strike back with a shot to the gut. But he just, he's, he's got nothing. I mean, I don't know if he has anything left. He definitely seems to be worse for wear, Joe. Look at him. On his back now. This this is not looking good for Pain. Panic has a very, very strong upper hand so far in this match. Very rarely over the years have we seen Pain in this sort of predicament. But if any man can put him there, it is Panic. Pain trying his best to, to get back on the offensive instead of the defensive, but he just he can't get anything. Panic grabs him up again, face first into the ladder. Pain just cannot get anything going here. He is in, he is in too much pain. He's been split wide open. It looks like right above the right eye. His leg has been ripped apart by being caught up on that rope and being ripped across the bottom of the apron there. Pain is in serious jeopardy. We could, this could spell the beginning of the end for pain. If he makes it through panic, how far can he make it through the gauntlet now that he is split open and injured? It's it's hard to say. Uh, pain, pain may be able to find a way, but it is going to be an uphill battle to deal with this monster. But these guys are no strangers to each other. Pain's the one that brought panic here. Back in 2006, these guys have been enemies. They've been friends. You see here, Pain trying to do everything he can to fight back, and now they're just trading bombs. And both of them seemingly a little bit staggered. Pain obviously has enough life left in him to really crush Panic in the head. Uh, and there he goes, a nice big blow to the turnbuckle there. Uh, Pain. Pain now with a steel chair and a shot to the gut. Rares back and a shot across the spine of Panic. Oh, you can see him grabbing at that leg. He can barely stand. He's using everything that he's got here to try to deal with this monster and the betrayal. Pain. He might be thinking about using that makeshift table. No, panic. Oh, we've seen this before, Joe. Choke slam war. Who's going to come out on top? Looks and like it's panic. And it is. What an angry clothesline for panic. Choke slam, Bob. Oh, An angry yes. choke slam. I mean, and falling with him, just driving him almost through the canvas there. You'll have to forgive me, Joe, the, the, the atrocity that I'm with, witnessing here in this match right now is affecting me personally. I can't keep my wits about me myself. And I'm losing my mind and seeing a, this happen and unfold. And a second choke slam from Panic. He's just dismembering and, and demolishing pain before our very eyes. Look at him. He is a broken man right now. And with one hand, just like moments ago, picks him back up. What's he gonna do next? He's up on the shoulders. This only means one thing. Panic attack, not through the table. Oh my God. Pain, panic attack through the table. Ow, Joe. Ow. Panic. Going for the cover. One, two, three. And panic. I can't believe it. Panic has stabbed Pain right in the spine, and he has done it. He has eliminated from the gauntlet match. And Panic. Panic is now, as it stands, a two time SMIW World Heavyweight Champion. And here it is, the moment of truth. The moment that Panic showed his true colors with that forearm shot to the back of the head. That certainly was something, Joe. And especially as he started off just tossing him around the ring here. And maybe, maybe as we were speculating, and look at that foot getting hung up from the sky cam there. Here's it, another look at it from our faraway uh, hard cam. And you can oh, see yeah. how, that easily could have torn some muscles, some tendons broken a bone, but Payne fought back as much as he could. With that chair shot, gets Panic's spine there. It was to no avail as Panic returned with that choke slam. And then, as we see, 
yet another there's from the, that angle. There's a slow-mo look at the second choke slam with authority. And he follows it up with a panic attack through the table. Look at this. Just laying pain out. And here's the cover that is changing the One, course of history as two, we know it. Three. You know, I don't mean to continue speculating, but maybe this is just to free himself from pain's mind games. I mean...